And you're very welcome here today for the 2009 County Antrim Championship Final Senior Game. We start today with the two teams and we'll give the Dunloy team first. Number one goalkeeper Gareth McGee. Number two right fullback Michael McClemens. Number three centre or fullback uh, Damien McMullen. And number four left fullback Kevin Martin. Number five uh, right half back James McCaig. Number six centre half Malcolm Loy and number seven left half back Conor McKinley. In the middle of the field, number eight Potty Shivers and number nine Kevin Malloy. Number 10 right wing three quarters Sean Dowds, number 11 centre forward Liam Richmond and number 12 left wing three quarters Gregory O'Kane. Number 13 top of the right Paddy Doherty, number 14 and full forward Paddy Richmond, number 15 and top of the left Darren Quinn. And the Christian Doll team for today's game is number one in goals, Ronan Kearney. Number two, right corner back, Paddy McNaughton. Number three, full back and captain, Oren Scullion. Number four, left corner back, Sean DeLargy. Number five, Kevin Elliott, right half back. Number six, centre half, Aaron Griffin. Number seven, and left half back, Donald McNaughton. Number eight, middle of the field, Paddy McGill, and his partner today is number nine, Aidan DeLargy. Number 10, right wing three quarters, Neil McManus. Number 11, centre forward, Carl McKeegan. And number 12, left wing three quarters, Eamon Laverty. Number 13, on top of the right, is Shane McNaughton. Number 14, and full forward, is Connor McCambridge. Number 15, on top of the left, is Connor Carson. Immediately, Cushion Dahl seem to have changed their team around. Paddy McNaughton's gone top of the left, Connor Carson's back at left half back. So, some positional changes. Paddy McNaughton in the middle of the field lifts the ball. Strikes it up the wing towards uh, Aidan Delargy, but out over the sideline. The sideline will be taken by Kevin Malloy. Kevin, one of the new breed of hurlers in Delargy. But a very good hurler. It's not a good sideline from Kevin, but uh, goes as far as Malik and Malloy. Malik is struggling to get it up. Through there came Neil McManus, and uh, unintentionally uh, received a whack as the Dunloy player was trying to pull the ball on the ground. And the first chance for Karen McKeegan here, scorable free. Hard to know which way the wind's blowing today. Flag's very limp indeed. Car lifts and strikes and a shout of wide goes up and the umpire signals that it is wide. So Fishendall spurn the first chance to score. One minute gone and score at nil-nil. 
Gareth McGee sends the ball way out to his right underneath the there Stone McNaughton or sorry Connor Carson pulls through there towards Shane McNaughton goes to Connor McCambridge Connor McCambridge missed it Shane McNaughton is the first to react gets through sends the ball across to Eamon Laverty Eamon Laverty is in and goes and sends the ball hits the bar and comes down and back to Damien McMullen chance for Cushendall to score a goal there came off the post to back to Neil McManus Neil McManus going through saves the dummy looks up sends it in and sends it over the bar point Cushendall has a chance for a goal there but hit the bar young Damien Laverty great score they've settled them down so Cushendall registered their first score in the second minute off the stick of Neil McManus Gareth McGee changing puck out, sends it up the left hand side front of the stand, underneath the stone McNaughton and Gregory, Gregory makes a great job of catching that ball, Ron seemed to over carry the ball but the referee says he was held up by Sean DeLarge so it'll be a free end for Dunloy and a chance to equal the scores and across comes another, another one of the young brigades, Sean Dodds good take there by Gregory O'Kane Sean lifts, that looks good, and that's over the bar, two umpires look at each other and agree, so three minutes gone and the scores, one point each, teams in deadlock. Puck out there by Ronan Kearney, sends it a long way up, underneath it there is Neil McManus, ball breaks through, Aidan Delargy playing on top of the, the left for Christian Dahl, Neil McManus has the ball, looks around him, Brings in Paddy McGill, Paddy McNaughton gets to it first, shows a spurt of pace there, throws past, looks up, sends it in and sends it over the bar. Good score by young Paddy McNaughton. Great play by Neil McManus bringing him back into the game here. Sean Dowds takes a spurt out here on the left hand side, quick puck out. Good transfer there by Gareth McGee, ball breaks loose. Comes to Aaron Graff and loses it, goes to Don McNaughton, Don McNaughton packs, picks it up, sends it down the wing underneath, it's Conor McCambridge. He adds to it in towards Shane McNaughton. Shane McNaughton goes round his man, looks up, sends it in and sends it to the right of the upright and wide. Cushendall forwards looking sharp but spurning some chances here in the early stages. Two points to one, Cushendall in the lead. Great pull through there by uh, Conor McCambridge. Gareth McGee alternating these puck outs between right and left. Up there stretching as Paddy McNaughton can only block it out over the sideline, sideline to Dunloy. Crowd very subdued here in the early stages. Sean Dowds with the sideline, sends it in, great sideline, across the forwards, first man to react there is Kevin Elliott, coming out, one handed but he's well beaten there by Liam Richmond, sends the ball into the corner, first to react is Oren Scullion, Oren Scullion trying to away from Paddy Richmond, Paddy Richmond does well, stick broke and Paddy kicks it back football style, ball comes to Sean DeLarge, loose ball, Paddy ducks on him but Sean's making in roads, comes out, chips a heavy tackle there, fair if you would fair, and the referee says he travelled, and gives the free to Dunloy. Sean really needs to look at releasing that ball. He ran into trouble there. And Sean Dowds doesn't fancy this one's going to leave it to Dick McCaig further out. Five minutes gone and score two points to one. Dick here with an opportunity to level up the scores. Dick lifts and strikes, sends a great ball, looking good, sends it in and sends it over the bar. Great score from Dick Mc... Dick O'Kane there. Two points each. And really nothing between the two teams here. Both sets of forwards showing very prominent in the early stages, giving their backs a hard time. Ball again favouring out towards uh, McManus and uh, Aidan Delargy. Aidan Delargy turns his man's running inside him. Kevin Martin can't get to him. Comes to Neil McManus, Neil McManus sets it. And, and, and Neil can follow it up. Great save from Gareth McGee there. And as uh, 
Ian McManus stretched, he couldn't get to it, and the ball went harmlessly wide. Great save from McGee, with McManus bearing down on goal there. That's a couple of goal opportunities that Cushendall have spurned, and Dunloy have lived to tell the tale. Gareth McGee sends it straight up the middle this time, well, it's slightly out to the left. Underneath it, there's two Cushendall men. Eamon Laverty can't get to it, Sean Dowds gets to it. Sends a cross-field ball there. Out comes uh, Sean DeLarge going up the field. Again, well hooked there by Paddy Dock. Sends the ball up towards Brother. He plays it inside to Neil McManus. Neil McManus is going through. Looks up, sends it in, and sends it over the bar. Three scores to two. Good take by Neil McManus, showing very well here in the early stages. And the wind seems to have picked up and slightly favouring Dunloy here at the moment, but it's not a great one. Ball breaks down, that's well read by Sean Dowds. Came in behind, looked at, got the covering ball played in there. Underneath it there is Kevin Elliott. Tries to get the ball through, it's into Dick McCaig to Paddy Richmond. And Paddy Richmond sends it to the back of the net. Good goal from Dunloy. Good approach play there by Dick, Dick O'Kane. Played it inside to Paddy Richmond on his own and he blasted to the back of the net. Game on, goal and two to Dunloy, three points to Cushendall. All came from good play by Sean Dowds, quick puck out, got the breaking ball around the middle of the field, dispatched it to Dick Kane, he dispatched it to uh, uh, Paddy Richmond, and he put it in the back of the net. Ball out there, Paddy McGill's first react. On to it comes Karen McKeegan, can't get the ball lifted. So all a bit in there. Again, nobody can get the ball away, it's with Sean Dowds showing up very well here in the first half. Up comes Kevin Elliott, gets the ball, sends it up towards his forwards. Underneath it there is two cushioned all men, Rex. Seems that uh, Conor McCambridge was fouled there, but he didn't get the referee's decision. Ball breaks through, it comes through again. Kevin Elliott showing up well here, comes across, looks up, sends the ball up the wing. Underneath it there is well broken down by... Uh, dropping ball, in comes, well taken by Ronan Kearney. Ronan Kearney plays it out the left hand side, underneath it there again, ball breaks through, onto it comes, Burrows seem to be held there but uh, nothing been given, good hook in there, Neil McManus is back looking for the ball, plays it out towards Shane McNaughton, Shane McNaughton takes the ball, turns inside his man, going in towards goal, breaking up, looking in, ball breaks, good save again from Gareth McGee, and the ball comes out, again, fishing ball, that's their third opportunity for a goal but it's so far, it's Dunloy who made the goals count. That ball's played inside. Again, ball breaks through there towards Ronan Kearney. Ronan Kearney looks up, sees Sean DeLarge inside here. Plays it down. And the ball breaks to him in the middle of the field here. Underneath it is Karen McKeegan. Does well to get the ball. Can't get it away then. Gets it up at the second time of asking. Plays it back to Connor Carson. Connor Carson plays it up the wing but doesn't get... Comes through there. That's well played by Dunloy. Back to... Uh, Two cushioned all men, Aaron Graffin does well, collects the ball, sends it in and sends the ball out towards and it's through to Conor McCambridge, Conor McCambridge trying to get a hold of the ball, Damien McMullen getting away from him, Conor turns and twists, looks up, sends the ball in but that's well taken by Gareth McGee again, perhaps would have been better advised to play that ball out towards underneath it there, cushioned all men again but that's well broken down and played, good cover and play there, ball played through but it's breaking to the noise, Shane McNaughton does well. Looks up, turning inside, sends the ball towards, that's well played by Cushion Dahl. Ball played out to Carl McKeegan. Carl McKeegan looks up, sends the ball in, but that's also dropping short and drops wide. Eamon Laverty had made a good run there. Cushion Dahl had opportunities, but spurned them. And the referee wants the word. I think it's with Kevin Martin. Just a word. 1-2, Dunloy 5 points, Cushendall 3 points. 10 minutes gone here in the first half. I think there's a problem with maybe with Ronan Kearney here, the referee at the moment.
slight injury there to Ronan Kearney, but everything's okay, and we're about to resume. Gareth McGee with the puck out. Great strike from Gareth McGee, sends away out the right hand side, underneath it there, that's well taken, played inside, good ball, looks up, sends it in and sends it wide, Potty Shivers had a chance there, good set up by Dick O'Kane who's certainly rolling back the years here and uh, took that ball really well and played it into Potty Shivers, he had an open goal in front of him, lost it and went over the bar. Good puck out again by Ronan Kearney, well the two keepers are certainly sending the ball long and far, that's well blocked down there. Onto it comes Michael McClemens, but onto it is Aidan Delargy. Aidan Delargy looks like he's held there, but the referee eventually gives the free. Michael pleads innocence, but I think on this occasion he is the guilty party. Karen McKeegan with an opportunity just to put one between the teams. Lifts, plays it to Aidan Delargy. Aidan Delargy looks up, sends it in, and sends it wide. Bad decision making by Christian Dahl there. Shirley Carl had the opportunity to send it over the bar. Roan goes up from the crowd. One, two, five points plays, three points. Can lie in the lead at the moment. Puck out by Gareth McGee. Sends it out the right hand side. Up there go several players. Onto it comes Paddy McGill. Sends the ball up on the wing. Comes to Neil McManus. Neil McManus looks around. Sends the ball cross field. Eamon Laverty slow to react. First react there is Paddy McMullen. Paddy trying to Sorry, Damien McNaughton. Damien is the ball. Gloves comes to Shane McNaughton. Shane McNaughton looks up, sends it in. Sends it across towards Karen McKeegan. Karen McKeegan gets the ball in. Again, Christian Dahl making heavy work of this. It's Paddy McGill and Paddy McGill sends it over the bar. One, two, plays. Four points, just the minimum. Well, Christian Dahl over elaborating here at times. Certainly more direct scores would seem appropriate. Gareth McGee with the puck out, 13 minutes gone, sends it up the pitch, underneath it is Paddy Richmond, comes far, looks inside, picks out Sean Dowds, Sean Dowds sends a great ball in and sends it to the bar, sorry, Gavin Malloy it was, simple hurling from Dunloy, no over elaboration there, get the ball, set the man up and he takes the score, 6-4. And it's certainly Dunloy with the greater economy at the moment, making it count on the scoreboard. Every chance they've taken, they've, or that's presented to them almost, they've taken. Ball well played there by Potty Shiver, sends it up. First to react is Sean McLargy, comes across. Kevin Elliott's there, trying to get the ball up towards players. Again, that's well taken by Paddy McNaughton. Paddy McNaughton gets the ball up towards Eamon Laverty. Eamon Laverty, that's well taken by Malik and Malloy. Malik and Malloy looks up, sends a high ranging ball in. That's a dangerous ball. In around the square. And again, Looks like the referee's given a penalty. Well, it looked like he was dumped to the ground, Paddy Richmond. But Paddy also seems to be down at the moment. There were rumours of Paddy with a bad back during the week. And uh, and McGee to revert with an opportunity to put five between the sides here and we're into the 16th minute. Gareth McGee lifts and sends it to the back of the net. Deloy 2-3, Christian Dahl 4 points and Deloy certainly the team in the driving seat at the moment. Two three plays four points, nine plays four, and it's certainly Dunloy playing the most direct hurling at the moment. Ronan Carey sends it away up the field. Now a five points difference. Again, ball breaks through, but it's Sean Dowds who's figuring very well here. Gets the ball through, comes towards Dunloy at the moment in numbers, looking to pick out their man, playing a good brand of hurling here at the minute. Send it inside and through comes Toddy Shivers. He's been doing and it's just streams of Liam Richmond through and Liam Richmond sends it over the bar. Good score from Dunloy. 2 4 plays 4 points, 6 points the difference, the 2 goals. Fish and Doll in some form of disarray, men at 6s and 7s.
Ball popped out. Way over the far side. Underneath it's Neil McManus. Ball breaks towards Paddy McGill. Paddy McGill looks up. Sends the ball in. Comes to Neil McManus. Neil McManus is bearing down the goal. Then he comes inside. And the referee signaled the free end to Christian Dahl. Looked a bit dramatic from Neil there. That's not a penalty, that's a free in. And the referee's having words with his umpire. And whatever has been said, looks like Mike McClemens is getting his name into the book. Carl McKeegan stands over the feet. No doubt he'll slip this one over the bar to leave double scores. Sends it over the bar, 2-4 plays, 5 points. Can allow 5 points to the good here and almost 20 minutes, 19 minutes gone here in the first half. Gareth McGee with the puck out. Sends it away out the right hand side. Good looking puck out. Underneath it there are several breaks down, but it's uh, Liam Richmond picks up the pieces for good block there from Don McNaughton. Straddles his man, gets over him. Good hooking and blocking. Comes to Aaron Graff, and Aaron Graffin's well hassled there by Dunloy, and the referee says over travel. And free in to the line. <laughs> this to put the two goal advantages back in place. 20 minutes gone. Sean Dowds, who's been very prominent and has played very well here in the first half. Sean lifts, strikes. And sends it over the bar. A good score from the young man. 2 5 plays, 5 points. Ronan Kearney with the puck out. 20 minutes gone. Good puck out from him. Sends it up the three quarter line. Underneath it, there is a plethora of players. Well picked up by Karen McKeegan. First and three. Going through Karen McKeegan. Sends it out towards Conor McCambridge. That's well blocked down. Onto it there comes Shane McNaughton. Shane's wheeling away. Looks up. Well blocked down again by Dunloy. And Dunloy players doing really well. Damien McNaughton comes out with the ball. That's good play by Dunloy. The ball breaks through. Comes through towards Paddy Richmond. Paddy Richmond's looking up. Getting away from it. Sends it in. Dropping short and dropping wide this time. Very close to being in. Good blocking by both players or by both sets of defences, but especially Dunloy's. Have tightened up from the first five, ten minutes. Fish and all need to look to take scores quicker than that. Again, good puck out the left hand side. Underneath it there is that's well blocked down. Turn recoveries. First touch lets Fish and all down. Going through there by Aaron Graffin. Gets to it. At the moment it's all done now here looking greedy for the ball. Great ball sent in there, but it's well picked out by Demi Mullen. He sends it up, looking for Darren Quinn. Darren Quinn comes, takes it, looks across, gets away from Kevin Elliott, looks in. Good looking ball, that's inside there towards Paddy Richmond. It's well broken down, Christian Dahl lucky there. Paddy Richmond was all in his own in the square. Christian Dahl got off the screen. But at the moment, Christian Dahl at sixes and sevens, nobody picking anybody up. Ball comes out here towards Kevin Elliott. Kevin Elliott's slow to get the ball. Can't get to the pace of the game at all. Breaks to Darren Quinn, he sends it in. And that goes wide. Paddy Richmond looks for the free there, but neither player, fullback nor seem to make a move. Ball comes out the wing. Underneath it's hidden, but it's broken down again by the line. It's all done line at the moment.
and the referee intervenes there. Not a good sideline. Paddy McGill reacts. Aaron Graffin's in there, but Liam Richmond also having a good game here. Doing well. Sends the ball through. Hit the, so it'll be a throw in ball, hit the referee. Plays it. And that goes through towards Sean Dowd. Sean Dowd looks up, sends it in. That comes to Ronan Kearney. Ronan Kearney plays it out towards Don McNaughton. Don McNaughton can't get to it. Does get to it, does very well. Keeps the ball in play. Does well to keep it up. Scott goes Karen McKeegan to help him out. Karen McKeegan's on the ball at the moment, looking inside him. Looks up, sends it in, fires it in, and sends it over the bar. Good score from Karen McKeegan. Two five plays six points, 23, almost 24 minutes gone. 11 points plays six. Five points the difference. Gareth McGee to take the puck out. Sends the ball away out the right hand side. Underneath it there, it's well blocked by Natty. Also there is, and that's well picked up by Neil McManus, who's having a good game for Christian Dahl. Tries to get away. Again, seemed to be fouled there, but the referee didn't see it. Again, Kishendall struggling, gets the ball out to Connor Carson. Out towards Paddy McGill, but first react there is Connor McKinley for Dunloy. Does well, looks up, sends a high range and ball in around the square. That's a dangerous looking ball at the moment. The ball breaks, and there goes Sean Delargy. Sean Delargy coming out, seemed to be obstructed, but the referee plays advantage. Ball going up the wing. That's a good ball from Sean Delargy. Cross comes Carl McKeegan. And again, two and live players there, but Carney Keegan does well. Gets the ball through to Shane McNaughton. Shane McNaughton appears to be foul, but the referee doesn't give it. Plays the ball inside, over the head, goes into Demi McNaughton. One to it comes Connor McCambridge. Connor McCambridge does well, gets there, but the ball goes wide. And the score at the moment is 2-5, plays 6 points. Gareth McGee with the puck out. Five minutes left here in the first half. Dunloy still hold the little upper hand. Ball played out. Out it comes here. Out around the middle of the field. Broken down. On to it goes Eamon Laverty, but Malagan Malloy is there. Eamon Laverty can't get to Malagan Malloy. Does get a good hook in. But again, Malagan Malloy looks to get it up. And that looks to be a fish and dog ball. And this time the Lions man gives it to fish and dog. And then Delargy comes across to take this. Great <laughs> sideline, played right in. It's kind of finished us really well to get the ball up. And again, just flashes wide of the upright and wide. Conor McKimmish looked to be through there, and uh, another missed opportunity for Christian Dahl. Damien McMullen seems to be down injured this time. No, sorry, it's not Damien. One of the backs. The marked difference in the game so far. McGee takes the puck out, sends it away out to his right hand side. Underneath it there is a group of players, Ball Brex comes to Sean Dowds, who seems to have a great knack of being in the right place at the right time. Again, Ball Brex, good blocking down by the line man there, plays the ball back to Liam Richmond. Liam Richmond plays the ball across. First react is Sean Delargy. Sean Delargy comes out with the ball, sends it out towards Paddy McNaughton. Paddy McNaughton looks up, sends inside. Plays the ball up towards Karen McKeegan. Goes for a touch from Karen McKeegan. Karen McKeegan looks out. Sends the ball out towards Eamon Laverty. Eamon Laverty's coming in. Sends the ball in and sends it over the bar. Good score from young Eamon Laverty. 
Did score from Karen McKeegan, but Karen McKeegan seems to have gone down injured. And the referee wants a word with James McKeegan. Two five, or maybe he's just marking down the score there. I don't think anything on toward happened. Eleven plays seven. The difference is four points. Good play there by Karen McKeegan. Did well to set up young Eamon Laverdy. Garth McGee scored a goal and stopped at least three attempts from Christian Dahl. A ball breaks there. Good passing again from Dunloy. And again, good hassling again from Dunloy. Brad Mark and Loy coming through, and the referee says he's over travelled, and he's very tight and over travelling today. Don't know where Malaga taking an awful lot of steps there, but this to be taken by Karen McKeegan. Left strike sends it in, it's in around the square. It's a dangerous looking ball, but it's out over the end line and wide. Carl certainly hasn't found the red hour here in the first half. We're in injury time now. There could be a couple of minutes because there were a few injuries there in the first half. Roman Kearney, Paddy Richmond and uh, Kevin Martin. Score is 2-5, 11 points plays 7. Good ball fired out by Gareth McGee, out that right hand side. Connor McCambridge had it, then lost it. Seems to be the story of the day. Kishendall players having the ball and now losing it. Coming in here, towards it goes. And that's fired in, that's a good score by Darren Quinn. And Kevin Elliott really does seem to be struggling with the pace of the game here at the moment. Two six plays seven points, 12 plays seven. Balls up. And again, Dunloy had that ball then. Should have made better use of it. Connor McCambridge pulls in the ball. Sorry, Paddy not pulls in the ball, but sends it wide. All a bit ragged at the moment from both sides. Both sides had opportunities there to take control of it, and both sides lost it. And the score remains at 12 7. Dunloy certainly worthy of their lead here in the first half. That's well taken by Aaron Graffin. Sends the ball left hand side it up. Up comes Shane McNaughton. Doesn't get to the ball. Out comes Kevin Martin. Gets the ball. Plays it up. Underneath it's Sean. Sean DeLarge is still there. Gets it. Comes to Kevin Elliott. Kevin Elliott looks up. Sends the ball up his right hand side. Underneath it there is Shane McNaughton. Does well to catch it. Looks up. Sends it in. No ball to nowhere. From Sh and again, ball comes out. Really, Fishendall lost away here in the first half. Doesn't seem to be. This ball has been played here at the moment. And a stepped inside towards Paddy Richmond. Paddy Richmond plays it inside to Darren Quinn. Darren Quinn's there and he sells the ball to the back of the net. Fishendall at sixes and seven. Score is three seven, plays six points. Fifteen plays seven. Alden Loy and it's. Balls to nowhere and passes, whereas the Loy picking out their man, and that was through to Darren Quinn. And here, dispatched to the back of the net. Fishendall with a mountain to climb now. Find themselves eight points down. Cross comes again, ball played through, and goes to McManus. But Garth McGee's out, getting away from his man, looks up, sends it out. That's well played by Dimmick Malone, sends it up, and the referee blows the whistle. But the score at half time is the Loy 3 6, 15 points. Fishing Doll, seven points to Lloyd, we're good by eight. <laughs> and referee Owen Elliott gets the second half underway here. Dunloy in the lead by eight points. Wild charge and tackle there by Paddy McGill. And really it's Dunloy in the ascendancy here as we start the second half. Eight point cushion, 15 points up on the board. Cushioned all trailing, eight points behind on a score of only seven points.
regular six. Sends it in, sends it in around the square underneath it. There it goes Paddy Richmond. Paddy Richmond trying to get through. And the referee says, come on down. Penalty to uh, Dunlough. And Kevin Elliott has been spoken to and been shown the yellow card. So things go from bad to worse for Cushion Dahl. And Gareth McGee makes the journey up from the goals again. Be a fee to be taken, 21 yard fee to be taken by Gareth McGee. Lines it up. Lifts. Strikes. Saved, well saved by the fishing ball defence, and Donald Norton gets the ball out. So fishing ball avert one danger. We're back it comes with Ben Malloy. Ben Malloy looks up, sends it in. That's well taken by Roland Kearney. Roland Kearney left, sends the ball away out the right hand side. Underneath there pulling was Paddy McNaughton. On to it comes Paddy McGill. Across there comes Paddy Shivers. Paddy Shivers sends the ball up to Gregory Kane. Gregory Kane looks around, sends the ball in around the square. Underneath it there is Sean. Uh, Delargy gets the ball out to Kevin Elliott. Kevin Elliott sends the ball out towards Aidan Delargy. Aidan Delargy can't get the ball out. Comes to Kevin Elliott again. Kevin Elliott eventually does manage to get the ball up. Sends it up football style up towards and out over the sideline. Kevin Elliott really does look to be struggling here today. Good save there by the rear guard. Really would have put the end to it there if the goal had been scored by Delight. Score remains at 3-6 plays, 7 points, but it's Dunloy still applying the pressure here in the second half. Shawnee Dowd, it's not a good sideline from Shawnee that time. Goes as far as Aidan Delarga, he sends it out towards uh, Paddy McNaughton. Paddy McNaughton does well to get away from man and is fouled on his way out. Good play from young Paddy McNaughton. This to be taken by Don McNaughton. Five minutes gone, neither team has scored here. Quite dramatic here in this early stages of the second half. Don McNaughton strikes the ball in around the square. Lots of bodies underneath it. Up goes her, but out comes Don Lloyd. And it's coming out from uh, Putty, or Ken Malloy, but the ball breaks to Neil McManus, and that looks to be a seven day. And that is a seven day. And Cushion Doll preparing us up here. John McManus about to come into the fray. And Dylan McNaughton this time will take the seven day. And the one this time seems to be against Cushion Doll, and that he strikes, sends the ball in around the square. That looked to be a push there, but they got away with it. Ball's played out. On to here comes Connor Carson. Looks like it's going out over the end line. Lifts, strands it in. Again and around the square, Neil McManus is there, and the referee this time, and that's quite a fortuitous 21 I think, quite a fortuitous one. McManus seems to be assuming responsible of the 21 yard free for Christian Dalt up against Damien McMullen and Malik Malloy and Gareth McGee. Seven minutes gone on the clock. Neither team have registered score here in the first half. Neil McManus places the ball. No doubt he's going for goal. Lifts, strikes, and it's saved. Not a good strike from Neil, but well saved by. The defence plays the ball out from Dunloy. So neither team scored here still. Ball breaks to Aaron Graffin. Aaron Graffin can't get the ball up. Ball comes towards, and again it's back with Aaron Graffin, struggling to get the ball up. Sean, good tackling from Aaron Graffin, gets the ball across, comes to Connor Carson. Connor Carson fumbles the ball. Cross comes Elliot, Elliot does well. 
again, pushing down the field to get the lines cleared. And eventually it comes out, comes to Paddy Richmond, Paddy Richmond lifts the ball and sends it over the bar. Really fair play from the Christian Dahl backs, they're getting each other through there, could get the ball out. Came to Paddy Richmond, who sent it over the bar. Three goals and seven points, plays seven points. Christian Dahl now find themselves nine points down. Another deny injury. And Steve McKagan goes on. Now Eamon Laverty is the man going off. That guy taken by Ronan. And that evening, that does a good movement there, strikes it up the wing, up towards Steve McKeegan, onto it's Malik Malai. Malik Malai, it's going to be his deny ball. Good play from Don McNaughton there, trying to take this forward into play. And really, the game has gone very flat here because it's all Dunloy at the moment, and Dunloy in the ascendancy. Nine points to the good. Cushion Dog can't seem to get anywhere close to them at the moment. Good sideline, well taken up the pitch, well blocked down by Don McNaughton, who's showing well for Christian Dahl at the moment. Plays the ball back towards Paddy McNaughton. Paddy McNaughton getting away from his man. Looks up, doesn't send a great ball in. Comes to Paddy. Neil McManus does well to get to the ball, but it's taken away from him, and the ball breaks through there. Comes towards Aaron Graffin, can't get to it. Well breaks through. On to Sean DeLarge. Sean DeLarge can't get to it. Don McNaughton can't get to it either. Ball breaks through there. Comes to Dick again. Dick again looks up and sends it and sends it. Over the bar, the Lyle all making it look very easy. Fishing Dog's first touch seems to have deserted them. And it's all done lie at the moment. 3 8 plays, 7 points. And it's well pucked out by Ronan Kearney, sends it up the field. That's taken out of the air by James McKay. James McKay tries to deliver it, but it comes to Carl uh, McKeegan. Carl McKeegan plays it in there. There's the Dunloy backs are under pressure at the moment, can't get the ball cleared. Malik and Malloy happy to send it out over the sideline, now it's over the sideline, it goes. Score 3 8, 17 points, plays 8, 7 points, 10 points the difference, and Fishing Dog with 11 minutes of the second gone, half gone have failed to score. This will be Aidan Delarge to take this sideline. Good sideline for Maiden, sends it across, comes towards Paddy McNaughton, Paddy McNaughton's on the sprint. He's got Demi McMullen, does well to get there, but Demi McMullen dispossesses him. Demi Paddy McNaughton is still there, and the referee eventually awards a free. Well won by Paddy McNaughton, worked hard for that. An eye player down yet again. A lot of broken passages in play here. Looks like Damien Mullen will have to be subbed because I see Ali Elliott or Shane Elliott indicating that he's injured. Carmen Keegan awaits to take the sideline. And in for Dunloy comes Cahar Cunning. Carmen Keegan to take the free for Fish and Dog. Lifts, strikes, sends it in, and sends it over the bar. Good point from Karen McKeegan. 3 8 plays, 8 points. Still 9 points the difference, and Fish and Dahl don't seem to be able to make any inroads on Dunhoy's lead at the moment. And 13 minutes gone here of the first, second half.
Ball pucked out by Gareth McGee. Sends a great ball out. Sent around the Christian Doll half back line. That's well broken down there by Don McNaughton. Good hooking again from Dunlow. He seemed to be. Comes to Eden Dolaghi. Can't get the ball out. Kevin Elliott comes, misses. Can't get away. The ball comes back to Sean Dowd. Sean Dowd sends in a good ball, but that looks to be a telling on the way to right and right. Good block there by Neil McManus. Roland Kearney looks to send it long, sends it way up around the three quarter line, underneath it's Carl, up he goes, ball breaks there, comes towards Hayden, but ball breaks to Don McNaughton. Don McNaughton does well to take the ball, playing well at the moment is Don McNaughton. Gets around, sends the ball up the wing, up it goes there, but the first to react is Conor McKinley. Sends the ball down towards Sean Dowd. Sean Dowd's playing really well at the moment. Ball comes in three. Ball there comes to Aaron Graff and Aaron Graff lifts the ball. Sends it up his left hand side. Underneath it there. It's, but again the ball seems to be breaking to the line man every time in the breaking ball. That's well taken by Sean DeLarge. Sean DeLarge looking to get the ball up into his forwards. Eventually does manage to get it up there. Up it comes Shane. And Jamie McNaughton gets it, looking to get away from his man. Sends it back to Aidan Delaghi. Aidan Delaghi looks up, sends the ball in around the square. A ball breaks down again, breaks to Dunloy. Dunloy really having no problem repelling with the fishing doll attack at the moment. The ball's up around the halfway line. Up to it there goes Aaron Graffin, gets the ball first, gets it collected. Gets away from his man, sends it up to Paddy McNaughton. Paddy McNaughton steps inside, looks around him. Plays the ball up towards Stephen McKeegan. Stephen McKeegan can't get the ball, but the referee says that there's a free there. If it's word to free the fishing doll. Three eight plays eight points. Sixteen minutes on the clock. Conor McKeegan goes across. Fishing doll man down in the square looks to be Connor McCambridge. And again, very stop start here in the second half. And Connor McCambridge looks injured at this stage. Conor McKeegan to left strike. Sends the ball in, sends it over the bar. 3-8 plays, 9 points. Score goes 17-9, 8 points the difference. John McManus is in. And Connor McCambridge seems to have made way. No. Seems like it's Kevin Elliott who's been called to short. Well, certainly not one of Kevin's better days here in Casement Park. Score, three eight plays, nine points. Gareth McGee to take the puck out. So, John McNall and Steve McKeegan on for Christian Dolmite. Can they make a difference? Ball broke there, comes well. Paddy docked as well. Going away from his man, looking up again. Seems to stumble there as he's about to hit the ball. The ball comes to Paddy McGill. Paddy McGill looks up, sends the ball in. Underneath it there. That's well taken by Malik in the line. Grabs the ball, plays a football style up the pitch of the referee. Unhappy with whatever happened there as we were to free the Christian Doll. Malik Malloy played without the stick, I think the referee's telling him. So Eighteen minutes gone. Score three eight to Dunloy. Nine points to Cushion Dahl. This to be taken by Carl McKeegan. He's already slotted over two. An opportunity just to score to seven. Left strikes, sends it in, and sends it over the bar. Three eight plays ten points. Now seven points the difference. Nineteen minutes gone. Eleven minutes for Cushion Dahl to rescue this. But in truth, they've been second best all day today and. It's hard to see them coming back from this seven point deficit. Garth McGee will send it long, sends it out here in front of the stand. Underneath it is a group of players. Don't not really hurling hard here at the moment. Gets the ball, looks up, sends it in, sends it across, sends it in and sends it over the bar. Great score from Don McNaughton. Having a wonderful game, one of the few Christian Doll men to actually show here in the second half. 3-8 plays 11 points. 
17 plays 11, score now 6 points the difference. Gareth McGee with the puck out, sends it wide, sends it down here on the far side. Out comes Paddy. Paddy Richmond tries to get it lifted, does get it lifted. Neil McManus is in there, pressure from Cushion Dahl. Stepping inside, the great ball played up there, up towards the forwards. Underneath it comes Paddy Dock, Paddy Dock getting away from Paddy McNaughton. Sends it in, sends it over the bar, good score for the live. 3 10 plays 11 points, 19 plays 11. And again, John McManus makes a spurt for it, but nobody sees him. Again, puck out now. Now, for the first time in this half, we've a bit of urgency about the game. And Sean DeLarge sends the ball way up the field. Underneath it there is John McManus. The ball breaks through, comes to Shane McNaughton. Can't get the ball away. He's coming out there. He's held up again, football style by Dunloy. Shane McNaughton's on to it. Cross comes Natty. Natty looks the man at the moment for Cushion Dahl. Plays the ball back to Shane McNaughton. Shane McNaughton gets the ball up, steps inside. Plays the ball in to Aiden DeLarge. Aiden DeLarge looks up, sends it in, and sends it over the bar. At last, Christian Dahl has been sparkling to life, and all the good play has come from Don McNaughton. 3 9 plays 12 points. 18 plays 12, but one feels Christian Dahl needs a goal at this stage to really set this alight at the moment. For the first time in a long time, Christian Dahl see a little bit of light. Good puck out from McGee, sends it out the pitch, out here in front of the stand. Underneath that's well taken by Connor Carson. Plays the ball up towards Neil McManus, but the ball goes out over the sideline and up with the sideline to Dunloy. 3-9, plays 12 points. John Doyle, who hasn't been as prominent, but was very prominent in the second half. Fishing all about to make another sub here. Declan McKillop, 10 to the fray. And Connor McCamrys is making way. Twenty-two minutes gone. Good sideline cut. Up. Iron Graffin can't get a stick to it. Three of Liam Richmond. Liam Richmond looks up. And Liam Richmond sends it over the bar. Good score from Liam Richmond. Stepped in well. Liam Richmond's had a good game today. Again, the my player down again. Seems to be quite a few players come down with camp here at the moment. Rolls out. Again, fish and all. Again, caught napping. Ball breaks through here towards. And coming through, it's well stepped across there by Sean Galarigi. As Paddy McNaughton looks up, sends the ball up around the middle of the field. Ball breaks there towards. Carl McKeegan can't get it out. Again, the my player was tempted to lift it on the ground. Well, then I have reacted here and uh, I've come back into the game. And Ali Elliott's come into the fray. And Dick Thien makes his exit. He had a bearing in the game, especially in the first half. This to be taken by young Sean Dodds. He seems to be down injured at the moment. Sunday's left strikes 
Long high ball on the line to square. Paddy Richmond's underneath it. The ball breaks. Outside to Paddy Dock. He plays the ball back towards Ali Elliott. Ali Elliott has time to lift the ball. On to him there comes Stephen McKeegan. Wide tackle from Paddy McGill and that's a free in. Really Ali Elliott, that's what he wanted there. Ali looked for the free and he got the free and Paddy McGill gets a foul or gets a yellow card I think for his bothers there. But really at the moment with five minutes gone the game looks up for Cushion Dahl. They had a purple patch there for about five minutes and Dunloy can fire him back into the match and have put seven points in the head and now look like they're going to make it eight. Young Sean Dowd stands over the ball. Let's strikes and it's over the bar. It points the difference. Christian Dollar in a hurry. Sends the ball up. That goes towards uh, John McManus. John McManus steps in. Looks up. Sends the ball long and high and around the square. Underneath is a few Christian Dahl player. That's well saved again by McGee. Good pull on there by Stephen McKeegan but Gareth McGee put himself in front and the Lloyd players seem to be down very easily here at the moment. A great passage of play there, but Dunloy repelled it. Christian Dahl, two or three chances to score goals there, and couldn't get it in. McGee has been marvellous there today, and goals for them. Christian Dahl had several chances, good siding run by the forwards, but it was repelled. Doning on to take the 70, 29 minutes gone here. The score, 3-11, 20 points placed, 12. Dunloy seemed to have claimed their... 11th, 12th, I'm not sure which it is, but it's one of those two. Natty drops the ball in short. Underneath it does again, repelled by Dunloy. Their defence has been marvellous. Sends the ball up around. Underneath it there is Arne Graffin. Can't get to it. Dunloy get the ball out. Again, comes towards Sean DeLarge. Sean DeLarge moving out with the ball. Looks up. We'll heavily meet there, but rides the tackle. Sends the ball in around the square. Underneath it there, it comes towards Neil McManus. Can't get the ball out. Again. Strong pulling from John McManus, gets the ball up, looks to get away from the player, and he's fouled, and it's a foul in, three into Christian Dahl. Christian Dahl in a hurry. 3-11 plays 12 points, 20 plays 12, eight points the difference. Dunloy well and truly home at this stage. And Karen Keegan sends it over the bar. But it's all elementary, 3-11 plays, 13. Puck out to be taken by Gareth McGee. Referee wants him to hurry up. That should be 13, shouldn't it? Again, Malachi Malai comes surging through. Ball's in around the middle of the field. Sean Dowd comes, fails to get it up. It's about the first ball he's failed. Shane McNaughton rides a tackle. Sends a high loving ball in around the square. Underneath it there is Gareth McGee. Takes it with a plumb. Sends it out and sends it out with interest. Sends it away up the pitch. Underneath it's Sean DeLarge again. 
Sean Barry with Frank Gatt for the ball and directly awards the play to Ali Elliott. And with one minute and 12 gone on the scoreboard, that's 311 plays 13 points. But as I say, it doesn't really affect the outcome at this stage. Sean Dodge makes his way over to the far side. Lifts, strikes, and puts it into the hand of Roman Kearney, who pops it out to Dylan McNaughton. And they're just after announcing that'll be eight minutes of extra time, so the game may not be over yet. Again, the ball played across there. Long ball, Cam Cushendall keep it in play. That came as a bit of a surprise. Well, there were a lot of stoppages. Ball played back towards Neil McManus. Neil McManus lobs it in and sends it out over and wide. 311, 20 plays 13. And we have eight minutes extra time here. We played two of them. So six minutes still left. I think that came as a shock to everybody, spectators and players alike. Ball played away out in the far side. Underneath this Connor Carson gets to it. Sean Flarge's in there fighting away for it. And the ball comes, it seems to be over, and the referee's awarded the free to the Malloy. And I make another substitute onto the team, comes number 25. I'm not sure who it is. And Sean dies again to take this free. Way out in the far side, 20 plays 13, seven points the difference. Sean Dowds to send this ball in around the square. Lifts, strikes, good looking free, sends it in, and it's over the bar. Try it's wide. Thought it was the umpire was signaling, but it was an act of fact wide. 311 plays 13, pushing dollar in a hurry. 33 minutes up on the clock now. Down the ball, Brex comes to Neil McManus. McManus is the first to show. Gets the ball across to Shane McNaughton, now playing out in the middle of the field. Comes to Don McNaughton. Don McNaughton can't get the ball. Comes back to Shane. Shane drives it up, up towards the forwards. Carl McKeegan's operating in there now. Again, Dunloy trying to get the ball out, but it comes towards Neil McManus. Neil McManus tries to get the ball up. Going inside, seems to be pulled to the ground there. And that'll be a free into Christian Dahl. 3-11 plays 13. 20 plays 17. Four minutes left on the clock. Carl McKeegan comes out. Takes the point, that takes it down to six. Carmi Keegan lifts, strikes, and seven day. Again, that man, Gareth McGee, just is unbeatable today. And Shane McNaughton coming out. Don McNaughton on the ball now. Left strike, sends it in low. That's a great ball. First there is Carl McKeegan coming around. Looks up and sends it in and sends it wide. Pushing all the stage, feeling they're having to go for goals. 3-11 plays 13. Two minutes now on the clock. Really time is edging away here. Puck out by Gareth McGee, sends it out far. Underneath is Paddy Richmond. Ball breaks through towards Gareth, towards Aaron Graffin. He sends it up the pitch. Ball breaks towards Aidan Delargy. Aidan Delargy's in there. Neil McManus is in. Ball breaks to Shane McNaughton. Shane McNaughton looks out. Comes out towards Neil, John McManus. John McManus in a run with Malik and Loy. John McManus across there. And uh, it's a sideline to Christian Dahl. Christian Dole really need to get this ball into the square quick light. 35 minutes up. Score 3-11 plays 13.
Not a good sideline, but it may fall to Cushion Dahl. Ball comes back to Hidden Delargy. Was fouled there, referee indicates. Free into Cushion Dahl. Paddy Richmond steps over it. <coughs> Blocked in. Again, comes towards. And it's a back on that. Good score for Neil McManus, but one feels too little, too late. Eventually, Gareth McGee has been breached. The goal from Neil McManus. Score 311, 113. 20 plays, 16. And we have an intruder on the pitch. We girls on the pitch, but she's been taken off. Eamon Richmond comes to rescue. Ali Ali's come through here. Works up, sends it in, and sends it over the bar. Good score from Ali Elliott. 312, 21 plays, 16. Five points the difference. Good puck out there from Ron Kearney, sends it up the pitch. Anders Neil McManus, ball breaks down, comes to Sean Dowds. Sean Dowds, well tackled there by Neil McManus, the referee says it was unfair, and gives the free to Dunlight. Referee moves the ball forward, and we're now into the final minute. Time's up. Dunlight will claim their find. And truth, they deserve today. They've been the better team for the large majority of this game. Gareth McGee, being a star man for them, scored a goal, stopped several goals from pushing down in the early stages. Sends it in and sends it over the bar. Good score. 3 13 plays 113. The difference is two goals. Ball popped out to Indalargi. Indalargi doesn't get it. The ball instead breaks towards Kevin Loy. He plays it inside to second half substitute. He wheels away, plays it back. Jan Malloy takes the end, sends it in. That's a high robin ball and over the bar. Seven points the difference, 314 to 113. And the referee goes to whistle and Malloy have won on a scoreline of 314. Plays 113. Worthy 2009 County Hampton champions.